Hi, it's Dave here, and today you're going to be making the slider mechanism from the Rob Ives website. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to download that and have a go. But here essentially is the slider mechanism that you are going to be making. And you can see as I push and pull the sliders, the lever or moves left to right. Okay, and I've created a cow jumps over the moon scene and you can sort of see how that works. Now, your task will be to create the slider but also come up with your own original custom artwork to go on top of the slider mechanism. Let's have a look around the back, how that looks. So as I move those two, you can see a little bit different to the uh, simple lever that we did last time, okay? But similar principles. You've just got these pieces of cardboard here that are pushing and pulling that uh, lever at the pivot point from left to right. Okay, so that's what we're going to achieve today. Uh, something similar to this. What you're going to need to do this activity will be uh, paper clips, only just one. Uh, you'll need a pencil or a texture of some kind, a glue stick, a ruler, uh, the template, uh, the uh, colored card of some sort. You'll need glue gun or glue stick, doesn't really matter. I'll use the glue gun today just because it'll make it quicker and maybe a bit stronger for some of the parts. So if you do have access to a glue gun, then use it. If you don't, just use a glue stick, they'll be fine. Uh, you'll need scissors, uh, you'll need um, some cardboard, you won't need a lot. Uh, what I also want to just point out too about the cardboard is just making sure that when you cut your pieces that you cut it with the corrugations going horizontally. Okay, so for, for example in this one you can see the corrugations go from left to right or horizontal. It just gives you a much stronger slider and uh, the mechanism just turns out to be a lot stronger. So all the corrugations uh, for this particular um, activity need to go left to right and for the um, lever part they go vertically okay all right uh, you may also need a, a hole punch uh, if you don't have a hole punch that's fine you can just sort of poke your way through the the cardboard with the push pin or a um, paper clip okay so let's get started Okay, so I've already cut the template up. Uh, you can see here's the template and here are the pieces that are from the template. You can see I've kind of extended those pieces a little bit uh, and that's fine, you can do that. It doesn't have to be exactly how the template has um, suggested. You just need to have sort of the roughly the same concept in this particular uh, slider mechanism. So feel free to go a bit free range with your uh, dimensions for this activity. So I've already covered the lever. Um, the other two pieces, it's up to you whether you choose to cover them in cardboard uh, or color them if you want. Uh, but I will cover the front piece and just show you again how uh, I go about doing that. And just remember that you have your corrugations going horizontally, left to right. Uh, if you had the corrugations running vertically, as you push and pull, it might just bend uh, on those corrugations, so it might make it a bit weaker. So uh, a good tip is to always make them run left to right uh, when you're doing an activity like this. Okay, so I've got my card, and I'm just going to glue that with a glue stick. Put that on. Put lots of glue on here, and try and cover all the corners. Whoops. And Let's just stick that down across the card there. Grab your scissors and cut the sides. And there you have it. So you have that piece there. Okay, so you can sort of see now how those pieces line up with the template. So I won't need that anymore. And you can see these pieces here on the template, I have just used uh, colored paper. Okay, slightly thicker colored paper anyway. So uh, they're gonna be used to wrap around the mechanism as the band. Okay, so a few things you need to know from here. It does get a little bit tricky, this one. Uh, so we're just stepping up the complexity of our slider mechanisms at the moment. And uh, this one here, because I've made that slightly bigger, I just need to find the middle of that and sort of 
put a hole there just so I know roughly where that is. Okay, and do the same with this one. I'll just roughly find the middle and just mark that like that with the pencil. Okay, so now that I've got that, what I'm gonna do is get my hole punch and punch a hole through that card like that. And the next part will be choosing your lever. Now I've done mine green, okay? Now I'm doing it green because if I do want to use something like a green screen or do an animation with, with my iPad later, uh, by using the lever as green, I can obviously key that out and it will look like whatever I'm doing uh, won't have be attached to a lever. But anyway, let's have a look here. So the idea now is that you want to, um, look if I had to use that piece here with the hole in it, it probably isn't long enough. So what I'm just suggesting you do is get your um, lever and your piece of paper and just work out so that you've got enough of this hang at the bottom. So something like that should be, something like that should be enough. Okay. And I'm just going to poke that through just to mark it. And now I'm just going to put, punch a hole through that. Okay, and what we do then is grab our split pin and you're going to poke it through so that the butt of the split pin is at the back and it closes like that on the inside of that like so. All right, so always have the, um, the cap or the butt of the split pin at the back and have the split part here because what you're going to be doing is attaching that piece there. Now, if you had the butt um, on the other side, then you would uh, have a bit of a gap between the two and it might not slide as smoothly. So uh, having that on the back, splits in the middle and covering up like that will just allow it to, to slide a lot easier. So that's basically what you wanna have, okay? Now you're gonna use these red pieces here as the bands that wrap around your mechanism. Okay, so to do that, you're just gonna get yourself a glue stick again and put some glue just here. Stick that down like that. Grab the other piece on top and then you're just gonna wrap it around. Important that you don't put glue on the back Okay, because it needs to slide freely. So we're not gonna glue the back. We're gonna come back to the front and just glue the front piece here. Now, if you pull it quite tight, okay, so don't have this bit too loose. If you have it too loose, the slider mechanism on the back won't quite work as well. So you've got to have it tight, but not too tight that it can't move. Okay, so it's a bit of a tricky and you may find you need to do this a second time if you, and adjust it if you haven't quite got it right. But I'm just going to pull that a little bit tight. Stick that down. Then I might just do another one on the back just for safety there. Drag that across just to make sure it really sticks well. And it's a bit strong as well. So if you're pushing and pulling that piece won't rip. So I've got that there. That's pretty good. I could keep rip going again, I suppose, but uh, I think that will, should really do it. Uh, let's cut that off. Okay. So at the moment you can sort of see that's going to slide well. Okay. Uh, I need to put another piece on this side. Uh, so what I've found uh, with the second piece, if you move it quite close to, I'll just move that split pin. If you move it reasonably close to the center or where that lever is, because you're going to be attaching another piece to the back and you kind of want that reasonably close. So I'm thinking something like that. So let's just uh, use the glue, stick that down. And you can sort of see how close this piece is to where the middle is. You can adjust this. It doesn't have to be exactly where I've got it. You can play around with what works best for you. Now remember, don't glue the back. We're going to fold that over. Pull it a bit tight. Put some more glue down here. 
fold that over. Remember, pull it tight, but not too tight that it can't move. Flip it over again. And just do that piece there. And there we have it. All right, now I'm just going to cut that excess piece off. Okay, so what you should see now is that slides easy, but the lever just doesn't move. Okay, so uh, what we now need to do is on the back, add the mechanisms to push the lever from side to side. Okay, so to do that, you're going to get your other piece of card from the template. And you're going to uh, glue these pieces onto uh, the mechanism. So what you're going to work out is how do you want that um, mechanism, where do you want that mechanism to sort of open and close. So you can sort of see uh, something like that might be what we need to achieve. So let's just put that over, you know, something like that gives you a bit of an indication as to how that might look. Yeah. All right. So what you can do is use a texture or a pencil and just mark that there. And I'm going to mark that there as well. So what I'm going to do is going to cut that piece like that and I'm going to cut that piece like that. Now you can use a glue stick and try and glue that on. Uh, that might be, uh, might not dry in time. So I'm just going to use a glue gun here. This is the part where if you do have a glue gun, use it. I think it's going to dry a lot quicker for this demo, but it's also going to make it a little bit more stronger for this bit because that's the part that pushes uh, the, the lever from left to right. So to have that part with a bit of strength is important. Okay, so I've got that piece that looks like that. Yeah. Now I just don't have, you can see, still not doing anything because I need that other piece on the other side to push the lever across. So let's get uh, that happening now. So I just line that up like that. And I'm just going to move this piece like that. So when, when this lever goes over to this side, you sort of see it pushes that. You can see why you need some strength there. Let's do something like like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go from there. Do a line backwards and I leave that like that there. So let's cut that piece. Cut that piece like that. And then you're going to stick this piece onto the red, okay? Not onto the cardboard, okay? It always goes onto the red. And you might just need to play around with where you move it along here, okay? But um, the idea is that you'd stick it and then just play around with it to see if you get the right distance. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there just in case and I'm just going to move it to somewhere like that. Just wait for that to dry. Now what you might find is that this piece of cardboard might not be uh, high enough. Uh, the, this piece might just overlap it like so. So you might want to uh, just add another piece and stick it on top on both sides. So I'm just going to do that just in case this piece doesn't uh, doesn't work. So I'll just do something like that and something like that. And something like that. All right, so I won't stick it on yet because I'll just see if it needs it. And if it does, I'll quickly add it on. All right, so let's have a look now. Hopefully that, dry, that glue is dried. But you can see it will go that way when I push it. And when I go the other way, it goes to the other side and so on. Okay, so there you go. That's how your lever moves. And if I go to the back and show you the back view, like so, there it is. Okay, so it works well. Didn't need the extra piece, but I can glue that on uh, just like that. And that will give you that extra bulk. So over time, as your mechanism wears down, you might find that you need to add another piece at the back.
to just make that a bit more stronger. So yeah, that's the idea of your slider mechanism. Now you can cut that if that's too long, uh, that's fine. You can do it however you like, or you could even extend it by adding another piece here at the back and you know, doing something like, you know, like that if you needed it bigger. But that's up to you. Uh, you choose how you want that to be. Uh, but that's it, that's the, the slider mechanism. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing all the, the cool things that you come up with. I love the simple sliders that you did last time. Uh, all the pictures that got sent through were, were really cool and I was uh, very impressed with those, so well done. Uh, but yeah, here's your new challenge, uh, the slider mechanism. Let's see what you can create on top and give it a go. Any questions, ask your teachers or drop me a comment in the YouTube links below and I'm happy to answer those as well. Okay, so good luck with that. And again, can't wait to see what you come up with.